Hi, I'm Cecile Newcomb at Energy Check. Energy Check is a home performance contracting company that does energy audits and then we do the retrofits to the homes. We find that homeowners really want to improve their little part of the world that they can control as a piece of the greater good and we're here to help them do that. We're here to do an energy audit on Ann's house to find out ways that she can save energy and make her house more comfortable and healthier to live in. This is the blower door which we're, we're going to use to test the leakage in the building envelope. This is a feature um, that we have on our manometer. It, it actually will tell us not only the, the air exchange rate, but it will tell us if we add up all the leakage in the house together, how big that actual hole, hole size will be. And right here we're showing we have about 370, 375 square inches of a hole. So that equals about a 2.5 square foot hole, which is roughly about the size of your window. So our total um, air leakage in the house is about the equivalent of these three panes here being open all year round, all the time. What you can see is a piece of plastic kitchen bag blowing in the breeze in, the ho in my house in the gap where uh, the wind is coming in the door. So this, I think, is a problem. You can see this, this cat door is, is leaky, but it's not as leaky as the human door was over there with, that we did with the streamer before. So if you're going to put a, a pet door in, get a good one. As you can see, as if I close this door most of the way, there's a lot of leakage coming from this room in particular. So if we open the door, we can see that the walls aren't finished. There's openings all the way back into the attic spaces. So this is definitely a place where we can make improvements. This camera shows heat coming in through the attic hatch, but the white lines on the picture are heat. And we can see there's a, a 10 degree difference between the cooler parts and the hotter parts. So on a really hot day, that would be like 95 or 100 degree air coming through there. Not only do I have cobwebs in my air conditioning and heating vents, but they are blowing in the breeze from the gaps in my house. Yeah. Um, spiders are actually friends of energy auditors because they hang their webs in a draft, so it's another clue of where we have air leakage. <laughs> Is it working? All right, tell us what's happening. The air underneath leaking through the floor from the basement is is pushing up on the vinyl as the blower door is sucking. It, the air is trying to get out. So it's, uh, it's making the vinyl poof up. <laughs> okay, so we're taping up all the, taping and blocking all the registers where air is supposed to come out when your system is on. And this way we're going to pressurize the ducts with air. And so whatever air comes out of the ducts will be coming out in the wrong places. There'll be duct leakage. So this will test the efficiency of the HVAC system. What we're doing is we're um, running a duct blaster and we're fogging the ducts so that we can figure out and go around and visually inspect where exactly the majority of the leakage is. So you can see some of this fog is going into the ducts and we're going to go and see where it is. Can you see the fog coming out? So it's kind of, there's a lot coming out of this hole right here, which is easy to fix. We can caulk that up. But it's also coming out of all these little cracks around the unit. <laughs> and then you can you see fog through the room coming out of all the cracks through this trunk line. You see the smoke there, Joe? Yeah. This is uh, an insulation detail that really isn't doing much of anything. What we have here is we have insulation hanging on the bottom side of these trusses. And for insulation to work properly, insulation has to be touching the surface it's supposed to be 
creating a thermal barrier for. So the, and that would be, the floor up there would be probably six to eight inches away from that insulation. So all this insulation that you see down here is not doing much of anything. Insulation has to be surrounded on all six sides, completely encapsulated for it to work properly. And it needs to be touching the surfaces like I said before. In this case, this is this insulation is not working probably, but it's very easy to get this insulation to do its job. What we have to do is actually move it up and encapsulate it with some other kind of air barrier product. Okay, so we've spent about five hours here testing and inspecting the home. And while we didn't find any health issues or serious durability problems, we did find some opportunities for this house to be more efficient and more comfortable. Um, the indications such as the floating linoleum means we can put an air barrier under the floor to better insulate it and, and air seal that. So there are several opportunities like that that will help this home become a part of the community that's helping to reduce our energy consumption.